Okay, so from Headquarters Manager, go to Worksheets, and we go to Inventory Transfer Worksheet. Choose whichever store you want to transfer to and from. And then give it a title if you wish. Choose Add Items Manually. It'll create one or more uh, worksheets depending on how many stores you chose to transfer to. Open up the worksheet and then go to Contents. And once you're here, you right click inside this grid area, you have an import and an export option. Um, now to understand the file that needs to be imported into this table, what I would recommend is that you add an item, one or two, and then do an export. And I'm going to choose comma delimited and uh, call it test export. And now, if we look at this file, here is the file format that we need for items that we're going to import. So I've actually opened this file up with Excel, and this is what it looks like. We have item lookup code, description, quantity at source, quantity at destination, and quantity to transfer. Now a few things that are important here is that while these columns need to exist in this file, technically it's not important what they contain. They just need to be there. So if the description for an item isn't there or is incorrect, it's not going to be a big deal. In these quantity at source and destination, just input a zero. It doesn't really matter. The columns that are important are qu quantity to transfer and then also the item lookup code. Now one thing that you have to be careful with with Excel is in this field where it says item lookup code, if you were to open just a simple comma separated file um, and this field contained a number, if that number had leading zeros on it, Excel would clip those off. So um, there's a special process on the data tab where you can go to import data from a text file at which point you specify the item lookup code field as being text. Um, uh, but in the case of item lookup codes where they contain text and numbers, Excel is smart enough to know that. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and I'm going to populate this, uh, this uh, Excel spreadsheet with some additional items. Okay, so I've added a few more products to this spreadsheet. Um, I just left description and the quantities blank except for those two columns that are the keys. And now I'm going to say file and I'm going to say save as. And I'll save this as test export 5. I just changed the name uh, and I'll save it onto the desktop. And now I will go back into my worksheet here and I'm going to click import, comma separated and test export 5 and we'll click OK. Four columns imported. So you can see it brought in the data. This data is blank here but again quantity at source, destination, and description are irrelevant uh, for the sake of this uh, report. Now or the, of this worksheet, now, a few important things. If you do not use the file format that RMS wants you to, it's going to throw an error. It won't be happy about that at all. Also, if it doesn't find the item lookup code, it'll error out then as well. So it's important that you use the right for file format and that the products that you're trying to import are in the system. If they're not, it's not going to handle it real gracefully, but this can be a great way to import transfer data.